Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but in this video, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. It's almost muzzleloader season, so I just got my muzzleloader ready. We're gonna try different powder charges. And the bullets I got out here, some 245 grain power belts. And the powder that I've always used, I literally bought this box 10 years ago. It's Pyrodex pellets. Each one of these, is supposed to be the equivalent of 50 grains of powder. I always shoot 100 grains because the first time I shot it, I loaded it with 150 grains and the scope cracked my face wide open. There was blood everywhere. So I swore to myself, I'd never shoot a muzzle over the 150 grain charge again, but we're gonna do it just for you guys today. Here's what we're gonna do. Shoot one with 50 grains of powder, one with 100 grains of powder, and then 150 grains of powder Every single shot's gonna be that 245 grain power belt, and we're gonna put them through the chronograph. So, if you guys would like to know how much powder you should run, you'll know. I've read a lot before that people typically use 90 grains. Well, you can't use 90 grains when you're using 50 grain pellets, but I've always run 100. I cannot tell you how many deer I've taken with 100 grains of powder, but we'll see what happens today. My opinion, I don't think you need more than 100. We might find out today that you don't even need more than 50 and that would save you money and your stuff would last a lot longer. But let's take three shots here quick and just see what kind of bullet speeds we can get. I honestly have no clue, but I'm gonna take a guess just for fun. That's a big heavy bullet. I think the speeds are gonna be around 1500 feet per second, maybe less for the 50. Hey! And maybe a little more for the 150, but let's see what happens. All right, now, got the chronograph set up. I'm gonna try to do a little picture in picture so y'all can see the chronograph speeds here, but got this loaded up with just 50 grains of powder. Hopefully that's enough to shoot the bullet out of the barrel. I've never done 50 grains of powder, but I've read that people do it. So, all right, 50 grains of powder with that 245 grain bullet. Let's see what we can do here. Huh, I didn't turn the chronograph on. <laughs> Dang it. Let me reload this up here quick. <laughs> I heard that double on that one, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was neat, I hope the camera caught it good. I should have known. Should have known. Ready? Well, <laughs> he jabbed one of these down in here real quick. Paul just ran out and turned the chronograph on. This old muzzle loader. See that one shot? It's already so dirty I can just about barely load it. Might have to clean it just to do the next two shots. <clears throat> I feel like that's not all the way down in there, but it might be. A lot of people mark that little stick. All right, well, get another primer here. This is love for y'all for science. I do not like muzzle loaders. All right, now let's load this primer up. I say I don't like muzzle loaders, but I've taken a whole lot of deer with muzzle loaders get out there before the deer are all scared. All right, let's shoot this again. 50 grains of powder with the chronograph on. Uh, Y'all saw it on the other camera, but that looked like 700 something. That's a lot slower than I guessed. Wow. 781. 781. Now, just to show y'all what I'm doing, I take this 20 gauge shotgun brush and I'm gonna run it through here. If I was using this for deer hunting tomorrow, I'd be giving this a real good clean. But for the sake of us being able to load this sucker for this video, that's what I'm doing out here quick. Man, that stuff smells like straight rotten eggs. It's a very old muzzle loader. But, check this out. Yep, I'm touching it with my fingers, y'all. Comment that you're not supposed to do that. 
I'm taking two of those plugs now. And then another one of those bullets. You guys can see I'm actually loading bullets in here. Get my rammer out. Push that thing down in there. Yeah, boy. 100 grains of powder. Let's see, uh, see how much faster. Man, 781. That will still take a deer down. Oh, so, yeah. So it might knock your distance down. Me, where I hunt, I only hunt, you can only see 30 yards. So that would probably work for me. If you're hunting like 150 yards with a muzzle loader, you might need the hunter. I don't know. What do you think? You think double the powder is going to hit a thousand feet per second? Uh, yeah. Paul says, yeah. Well, let's see what happens. 100 grains of powder. I'm going to guess 900 feet per second. Thirteen twenty-two. That yeah. almost doubled the speed. That surprised me. So now here's the test, guys. We're gonna triple that powder load. Is it gonna triple the number? Think we get two thousand feet per second out of one hundred and fifty grains? No, I'm gonna say sixteen. Sixteen. Well, if I can get this uh... primer, not wanting to come out of there. All right, now, just so y'all don't think I'm cheating, here goes one, two, three, and I know, again, you're not supposed to touch those, but whatever, and, uh, yeah, another one of those bullets. We have 781, 1322, and let's see what this one does. I probably should have ran that brush down here, but see if we can load it. I hope we can. Oh yeah, it'll go. Yep, that's in there. Let's grab a primer. And see what she does. If y'all haven't seen it, we're also about to film this stuff in ballistics gel. So y'all check it out. Somebody honking their horn out here. I don't know who that is. But anyways, let's see what kind of speed we can get out of 150 grains of powder. Hope I don't split my face open like I did the last time. Come on. There we go. I can see it with my scope. 1606. I was right. Yep. Paul hit it almost dead on. So... Pretty cool guys, so 50 grains, 700 some odd, 100 grains, 1300 some odd, and 150 grains, 1600 some odd. So that's pretty cool. It doubled and then it did like a 50% bump-ish from the first one. But hey, that was really cool. Now we know the speeds. I'm gonna have to go clean this sucker really, really good. But. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all go check out the Heavy Metal channel and subscribe. Appreciate them big time. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Tons of awesome videos and more to come. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hootie Hoo!